This video demonstrates how to configure MultiWAN on Wagia Cloud. When multiple WAN links are consolidated into a single gateway device, to ensure the availability and utilization of these WAN lurks it is necessary to configure MultiWAN settings on the gateway device. Please note that the MultiWAN feature is enabled by default on REE EG series gateways, and needs to be manually enabled on REE NBR gateways. With the MultiWAN feature, you can configure MultiWAN settings on the gateway device to meet different service requirements. The MultiWAN feature is applicable in the following three scenarios. 1. Bandwidth aggregation through load balancing. In this scenario, the gateway device automatically distributes outgoing traffic across multiple WAN links to aggregate the bandwidth of these links. 2. Different egresses for different users. This means that the traffic from a certain IP address range on the internet is routed to a fixed egress. 3. Private network for private line servers. An example of the private network is the financial private network of a company. Devices on the private network cannot access resources on the internet. Therefore, a device on the internet must use the private line egress to access resources on the private network and use other egresses to access resources on the internet. Log into Wagia Cloud. Select a project, and choose Configuration Network-Wide Network Multi-WAN. After you access the configuration page, all gateway egress links are displayed by default. To add an egress WAN link, click Add WAN Link. You can select a WAN interface or a LAN WAN interface, select a networking mode for the WAN interface as required, and click Save. Please note that for the private network for private line server scenario, the connection type must be static IP and the WAN link must be set to a private line. You can configure related parameters based on the specific application scenario of the multi-WAN feature. In the bandwidth aggregation scenario, you are advised to click wait and set the load balancing policy to maximize network bandwidth utilization. Wagia Cloud supports the following four load balancing policies. Based on connections, packets with the same source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port, and protocol are routed over the same link. Based on SRC IP address, the traffic from the same user will be routed to the same port. Based on SRC and DEST IP address, the traffic of the same source IP address and destination IP address will be routed to the same port. Smart Load Balancing The traffic is routed over multiple links based on the link bandwidth, the actual loads of the links, application recognition, and traffic prediction. When Load Mode is set to Loading Balancing, the traffic will be distributed across multiple links according to the weight of each one interface. When load balancing policy is not set to smart load balancing, you need to set the weight for each WAN interface. Assuming the weights for WAN, WAN1, WAN2, WAN and WAN3 are set to 4, 3, 2, and 1 respectively, the interfaces will forward 40%, 30%, 20%, and 10% of all traffic, respectively. When load balancing policy is set to smart load balancing, configure the uplink and downlink bandwidth limits for each one interface. When load mode is set to active backup, configure each one interface as either the primary or secondary interface. All traffic is routed over the primary interface. Once the primary interface fails, traffic will be switched over to the secondary interface. Note, at least one secondary interface must be configured. When load balancing policy is not set to smart load balancing, and there are multiple primary or secondary interfaces, the weight of these interfaces must be set. When load balancing policy is set to smart load balancing, configure the uplink and downlink bandwidth limits for each one interface. Click Save. For the different egresses for different user scenario, you need to configure policy-based routing settings. If you want to forward traffic from VLAN 66 through a fixed egress, ISP2, you only need to select VLAN 66 and drag it to the ISP2 area. 
click Save. For the private network for private line server scenario, you are advised to config private line. Click Add Private Network Address in the Private Network area and enter an IP address or IP address segment for the private network. Click Add Private Network to configure more private networks. Click OK. After the configuration is complete, Access Private Network in the default area is automatically toggled on. Click Save. Users in the default area can access the internet through other egresses and the private network. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.